Okay, this will be a quick tutorial to show how the MMX VFD, which is used on the Atom Simplex pump systems, records and stores the fault and alarm logs. Now, right now you can see the display is flashing a present fault. The F1 stands for fault. The 1 means that is the most present fault and the 51 is the actual fault code. This is what we're most interested in as this is what we need to reference the Eaton book to decipher what the problem the drive is experiencing. Now in this case for all intent purposes 51 references an external fault input. I'm doing this because I have a controlled environment and I simply need a simple way to fault the drive being that it's sitting here on my chair rather than installed in the field. So 51 just stands for an external fault. With the, with the fault present I'm going to show you how to clear it and to do that we must first press the back reset button and what this does is tells the drive the user has actually acknowledged the fault. And when I press it, you'll see four dashes show quickly on the screen. Okay, now the drive is no longer in the fault mode, but it is still showing F1-51. Now the reason it's still showing this is because the fault code has now been stored in the drive's memory. So to continue with clearing the fault code and getting the drive back into normal operation, you then need to press the OK button. The OK button shows you the duration of the fault and in this case D stands for days zero because this is a fresh drive right out of the box I simply plugged in so it has no runtime on it your drive may show 10 or 15 or 5000 depending on how many days it has been plugged up and running after you press the OK button and you see the D you then need to press the back reset button again you'll notice the keypad or the display goes blank but the triangle is now flashing on MON. MON st simply stands for monitor. Go ahead and press the OK button and you are now ready to let the drive begin normal operation.